All right, we're going to get into adding and subtracting polynomials. Uh, so I have a few examples here in a word problem that we're going to use uh, polynomials. And we're going to get some concepts uh, for adding and, subtracting, adding and subtracting them. And I'm going to use a couple different methods to show. Uh, so in each expression, we have operations that we're performing on polynomials. So the first expression, we're adding these uh, two polynomials. In the second sub uh, expression, we're subtracting the same two polynomials. And uh, we're doing the same thing in number three and number four. And then uh, I'll end with a perimeter word problem because uh, perimeter is just fun. Now I'm going to do a couple things uh, with this. The first is to model these examples using algebra tiles in just the first two examples. And if you've never used algebra tiles before, they're kind of handy and they can show, uh, show what's happening. So in the, first, in the first problem, we have 3x squared plus 2x minus 7. And if you've never used algebra tiles before, this is what that polynomial <coughs> will look like. This is an x squared because it's the distance x by the distance x. So uh, that's an x squared, right? Because area is length times width. So that's 1x squared. Here is 3x squareds. OK, so there's 3x squareds. And with the 3x squareds, we have two x's. Now, what does an x look like? It looks like this. OK, so we have uh, uh, an x here. It's basically the length of an x, the length of an x by one unit. So that's an x, and that's an x as well. OK, and that's a positive x. OK, so we have uh, 3x squared plus 2x. Now we have minus 7. So here is a 1. This is 1. And this is a negative 1. And so if we're, if we're looking at minus 7, we actually have 7 negative 1s. Okay? So we're going to put down uh, 7 negative 1s. And we'll have 3x squared and 2x's uh, and 7 negative 1s. Right? And that's 3x squared plus 2x minus 7. So we'll have these, uh, these tiles. And that represents that first uh, polynomial. And now what we're doing is adding to it negative x squared minus 3x plus 9. So what is that going uh, to look like? So here is a negative x squared. Here is a minus 3x. And here is a plus 9. OK, so we're going to add 9 uh, ones. Here's 3 and 6 and 9. And so what we're going to do is add all of this together. OK, so we're going to add these. That's what the, the, the expression is telling us to do. We're adding these two polynomials. So we have our two polynomials, and we're going to add them. Now, the way addition works, addition works uh, by looking for zeros with algebra tiles. Now, what is a 0? Plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is an example of a 0. And what can we do at zeros if we're adding or subtract them? Get them away. So we can start removing zeros. And so we look for our zeros. We can remove them. We look for our zeros and remove them. And uh, we keep doing that. So four more zeros here. And so we're left with two ones. Uh, what about the x's, right? So we have a couple of x's here that are green, three x's that are red. We can take away zeros. Right, so two of them are green, they're gone. Two of them are red, they're gone. Now we have one red x. So we have two ones and one red x. What about the x squareds? So we have uh, one red one, one blue one, that's a 0. So we are left then with 2x squared and then uh, minus an x and plus 2. Okay, so this, this expression then is what, uh, what we're left with. We're left with. 2x squared minus an x plus 2. That's what we are left with. Okay? And so uh, that's how we would model what just happened with number 1. So all of this is going to leave us with 2x squared minus x plus 2. Now we're going to do uh, the same two polynomials, but this time we're going to subtract them. So we'll take a look at, at how that might, be, that might be different. So the setup remains the same. right? We're going to have Algebra tiles with x squareds, x's, and units. Okay, and so we'll we'll do the exact same setup. Okay, so we'll have our three x squareds, 
and we'll have our uh, two x's and our minus seven. So three x squared, two x's, and let's do our um, minus seven. So there's one, two, three, four, four, six, seven. So that again is the first polynomial, three x squared plus two x minus seven. And what we're gonna do is subtract uh, negative x squared, okay, so here's our second polynomial, minus three x, our minus three x's, and our positive nine, positive nine. Now what we're gonna do is subtract, okay. Now one of the neat things is making sure that we understand what subtraction actually is. Okay, so what is subtraction? We are subtracting, subtracting these two polynomials. And what is subtraction? Subtraction is adding the opposite. Okay? Subtraction is adding the opposite. Okay? That's what subtraction is. Subtraction is adding the opposite. So if we have our first polynomial, which is this modeled by these algebra tiles, and we're subtracting the second polynomial, modeled by this, these algebra tiles, and we're subtracting those polynomials, what we're doing then is actually adding the opposite. So what we can do is turn the second polynomial into its opposite. Okay, how's that gonna work? Well, just flip the tiles, right? So the x squared becomes, po uh, the negative x squared becomes positive x squared. The minus three x's become three x's, and then the plus nine becomes minus nine. Okay, so we can add the opposite. What you have witnessed is actually the distributive property of negative one, but uh, I'll show that again later. Okay, so what we have now witnessed is the distributive property of negative one. Now, this is what we're adding. Okay, so we're adding this stuff. Now, remember what we did in the previous example. When we were adding tiles, we're looking for zeros, right? So we're looking for zeros, and if you look here, we have no zeros, right? There is no, you know, one red, one white, or one positive, one negative. There are no zeros here. So this is actually what you're looking at is the result. Okay, so what are we looking at? We're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4 x squared. We're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's. And we're looking at 16 negative 1's. So this is what, remember, there are no zeros to take away. We haven't taken away any zeros at all. So what we're left with is 4x squared, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x's, and then 16 negative 1's. Okay, so this is actually the result of, uh, of this polynomial expression by subtracting. So notice the difference, right? When we added, we were left with 2x squared minus x plus 2. When we subtract, we have this. And that's how we can use algebra tiles to, to model that. Okay, so that's one method of doing that. Uh, for those of you that are watching this that are in my classroom, you can totally use these algebra tiles whenever you want. I have, I have sets for you to work with. Uh, for those of you at home um, or not in my classroom, can't help you on that, but you know, go buy them or beg a teacher or something. So we've used this, uh, we've modeled this with algebra tiles. We can also model this from the straight down algorithm that we have used before in, uh, in, in elementary schools. So if we're looking at uh, number one and we're adding these two polynomials, we already know what the answer is by modeling it with algebra tiles, but this is how it would work. We have our x squareds lined up, and all we're doing is three of them, right? Three of them plus negative one of them. So three plus negative one is positive two, so there's two of those, x squareds. Now we have our x's lined up. There's two of them plus negative three of them. That's gonna leave us with negative one of them. And then we have negative seven ones plus nine ones. That leaves us with two ones. Okay, so that's what we would have with, the, uh, with that regular, you know, line them up by terms. And remember, that's what we ended up with modeling it with algebra tiles. So we could do it that way. And for number two, similarly, we could do the same thing. Okay, so now we're looking at our x squareds. Our x squareds are lined up. Three of them minus negative one of them. Three minus negative one is actually positive four. Now we have our x's lined up. Two minus negative three of them. Two minus negative three is actually 
positive 5, and then negative 7 minus positive 9. So negative 7 minus 9 is actually negative 16. So if we're subtracting, we could use that way as well. And uh, remember again, this totally jives with what we had done with our algebra tiles. Okay, so it doesn't matter how we're coming up with, with the concept, we can do it that way. All right? And that's how we would find the expressions for uh, number one, number two. Number three is done the exact same way. You can use algebra tiles, you can line them up. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, is notice that we were adding two polynomials. Okay, so notice we were adding two polynomials. And uh, if adding, we can, there's no uh, simplification needed, right? All the signs remain the same. No simplifying is needed. Just add them and combine like terms, right? So we can add them, no simplifying is needed, combine like terms. So we can look at this in a third way as combining like terms. So we can rewrite that expression number one as the, uh, the first polynomial, 9x to the third power minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 7. And all we're doing is adding the second polynomial. There's 2x to the third power minus 6x squared minus 4x plus 3. And all we need to do is search for our like terms, our, our same units of measure, right? Our same units of measure. So we have x squared, or x to the third powers, excuse me. So we have x cubes and x cubes. So 9 of them plus 2 of them is going to leave us with 11 of them. So there are 11 x cubes. And then we have our x squared and x squared. There's minus 2 of them. There's minus 6 of them. Negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. So it's going to leave us with negative 8 x squared. And then we have our x's, 4 of them, minus 4 of them. Well, that's convenient. Plus 4 minus 4 leaves us with 0. Those actually cancel out. We have no more x's. And then we have our 1's, negative 7 plus 3. And negative 7 1's plus 3 1's is negative 4 1's. And that is our simplified version of number 3. So if we're adding, there's no simplifying needed as far as distributive property goes. All we have to do is combine like terms. Now for number four, what we're doing is taking these same two polynomials. Now what we're doing is subtracting them. And this is going to be a different ball game. Because you remember what subtraction is. If you remember, subtracting is adding the opposite. So subtracting is adding the opposite. And I mentioned this with the algebra tiles. I'm going to show it here. Adding the opposite means we're using the distributive property. So we are distributing, distributing the minus sign, distributing the negative. Okay, we're actually using the distributive property. Okay, so we're distributing that negative sign to everything in the group. We're adding the opposite. Such an important thing to realize. And once we do that, then we can combine like terms. So this is just another way of uh, of looking at <laughs> excuse me of looking at subtraction. Okay, so the same two polynomials. Now we're going to subtract them. So I have the first one, nine x to the third power minus two x squared plus four x minus seven. And now I'm going to subtract the second one. I'm going to add the opposite or distribute the negative. So I have now a minus two x to the third power. I now have a plus. 6x squared. I now have a plus 4x and a minus 3. And now I am ready for the distributive property. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how that is going to work. Okay, so now I'm ready for the distributive property and combining, or excuse me, I'm ready to combine like terms. I have my x cubed, 9 of them minus 2 of them, leaves me with 7 of them. I have my x squared. Here's minus 2 of them. Here's plus 6 of them. So minus 2 plus 6 is positive 4 of them. And then I have my x's. 4 here, 4 there. That's 8 of them. So 8 x's and my 1's. Minus 7, minus 3, that's minus 10 of them. So when I subtract these two polynomials, I have this expression. Remember what happened when we added them? We had one expression, and when we subtract them, we have a completely different one. Because subtracting is adding the opposite. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's how we can work with adding and subtracting polynomials. So I gave you three different methods. 
We can use algebra tiles to set it up. We can look for zeros. We know that subtracting is adding the opposite. We can line them up by terms and, and do it straight down. We can look at them uh, horizontally and combine like terms as long as we're careful with the negative. So it doesn't matter how we're doing it. Lastly, we're going to apply this uh, with a word problem. So with number five, we're looking for a square. We're looking at a square with one side. Now what's cool about a square is that all sides are the same. And if we're finding perimeter, if we're finding perimeter, all we're doing is adding up all four sides. Okay, pardon me, the bell might ring in a little bit. So all we're doing is adding up all four sides. So we're adding this side, this side, this side, this side. So basically, we're just saying 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 plus 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 plus 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 plus 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. All right, so we're adding up all four sides. That's what perimeter is. Okay, so we're adding up all four sides. And if it's a square, they're all the same size. So what we do is combine our like terms. 3x squared, 3x squared, 3x squared, 3x squared. That's 12x squared. Minus 5x, minus 5x, minus 5x, minus 5x is minus 20x. And then plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. All right, and that'll be plus 8. Okay, so our perimeter then, easily enough, adding up all four sides. Now, what's the same thing as adding four of the same thing, right? We could also look at it in this way. So here's the question again. What is, what is exactly the same as adding four of the same thing? You're adding it four times. You're multiplying by four. And this leads us to the distributive property again. We could also distribute, okay? So we could have said 4 times 3x squared, 12x squared, 4 times negative 5x, which is minus 20x, 4 times 2, 8. So it doesn't matter how you are um, conceptualizing this. Perimeter is adding up all four sides. And since we're dealing with the square, they're all the same. How cool is that? All right, so hopefully that was helpful. I'll talk to you later.